been true that you've done all you could do and for your faithfulness it's your time and you've applauded for Now is your time to be blessed, and yes, and for your faithfulness, it's your time, you, you've been faithful, you've been faithful. For the past 10 years, there's been some heartaches and there's been some tears, but oh yes, for your faithfulness, it's your time. We've been blessed to have a great man of God. Who stood by us even when things got hard? Oh, yeah. For your faithfulness is your time. You waited, you have waited for so long. But you have. Pastor, we love you, Pastor. And for your faithfulness, it is your time. We are so blessed to have a great man of God here. And we are so grateful. Tried our best to stop it, but the people said that 
no, it, it got to go on. Just say, even when we're going through it, we got to have it. We got to celebrate you today. The Lord says to celebrate you today. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. And so now we're going to, um, we got a poem we're going to read to you. Amen. Everybody can be seated. We're only going to take a few minutes because we know you got the word on your mind. your father amen amen and right now we have a presentation from the Norfolk Church
Look, I have um, here to present something from uh, the Norfolk Church, Word Church, and uh, he just blessed us so much. And I just can't, can't explain or what. Hey, word is not words for it, but I want you to accept this from the Word Church. Ten years. Pastor Scarborough, Sid and I would like to congratulate you on your 10th anniversary. And we sowed a seed into your life because we know we're sowing it on good ground. So we want to say all God's blessings to you and your family. May you all be blessed richly. And we love you. Amen. And we just got, we know we don't have time for everybody to give um, uh, Pastor Rob a presentation or a word. You know, there will come a time, but we're going to ask the following people real, real fast. Um, I'm going to ask the grandparents, they will come. you for being my grandson and my pastor. I thank you. And I thank God for how he's leading, how he's guiding you. Can I just hear you? And I give God first all the glory. In Jesus' name, I pray that God continue to lead and guide you. Regardless of whatever comes in, the, in front, we know who has your head and your back. And we praise God this day. And we continue to lift you up in the name of Jesus. Amen. And may God be the glory Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. To my grandson, first of all, I love you, I love you, I love you. I praise God for you this morning, Father. I just thank you for being my pastor and being my grandson. I just ask that you just continue to keep on preaching the word of God in season and out. I love you very, very much. Amen. I want to ask um, everyone that started out with Pastor Rob from the very beginning to stand up. Stand up. If you started out with him from the very first day, the very first day, stand up. Amen. Amen. And, and I want to ask um, Digan Jamal if he would just come and speak on behalf. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give honor to our pastor. Amen. 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 Pastor Rob, I just want to let you know how much that me and my family really love you. We bless the Lord for you. We wouldn't know, as Sister Tara said, I wouldn't know the direction I would be if it wasn't for you. At that time, when I first, when the church first started, I was looking to go other places. I wasn't looking to be a part of a ministry. I wasn't looking to be a part of anything that had to do anything with God at all. I was on my own path, but God had a plan. Amen. And God sent that plan through you. And that day when we, when we first met, when, we, when the church first started, I saw God when I saw you. Amen. And I just want to say thank you for all that you've done. You've blessed my family in ways that I don't even, that you, the church don't even know. You've been there, even up to last night. You've been there. And I just want to say that I love you. And we're going to continue to rock this thing out for 10 more years, amen? We're going to do 20 more years. We sat around as kids, and I saw when I, when I was a little kid, I looked up to Pastor Rob a lot. Pastor Rob is five or six years older than me, and we were cousins, we first cousins. And I mean, even then, I used to always say, that's my cousin. He a minister. He a minister. 
And I used to always look, I used to always like try to sick people, sick them, sick them on people because I always felt like, but it ended up being the other way around. He used to sick me on other people, so. <laughs> but I just want to say, Pastor, I love you, man. And we're going to continue to do this, amen? Bless the Lord. I'm going to ask Brother Corey Smith if he will come up. Still going through it, but the words that you said, man, still coming behind me and reminding me that we got you because of you. And I thank you for that. Words really can't really describe how I feel about you right now, but you are more than words. You are an experience, straight from heaven. Okay, I don't want you to forget that, and I love you. I love you as a pastor. And Brother Rodney Johnson. And we're going to ask Sister DeLacia Mallory if she'll be ready. Hey, I'm sure like everybody else, um, first time I heard Pastor was on the radio. And uh, man, I was looking to turn to some old school, but God had other plans. And I heard you battling with somebody about the word. And I, I came to the church, and I said to myself, I said, you know, I got to see this. This guy offering up a pulpit to visiting ministers if they want to challenge him on the word. Don't nobody ever give up the microphone. Nobody. So I said, I, I got to come check this out. Keep in mind, I wasn't in the word, and I wasn't really going to church. I was going to get out there and time up to watch football. And I got to tell the whole story. I'm sorry. But, uh. I met Dick in Scarborough. He, you know, he come around and greet you and make you feel welcome and everything. And after church was over, I had D with me, um, wherever he at. I had him with me, and he was 13 at the time, and he's 20 now. And I asked Dick in Scarborough, I said, is there any way I can meet this guy? And he said, give me a second. And he went in the back and came back out. He said, come on, he won't meet you. I don't know what it was, but I had to meet you, man. But I want to tell you today, watching you grow, teaching us how to grow, watching you preach the word, I never once idolized you because I know I don't supposed to idolize you. But, man, I just want to tell you, I love you. I respect you like you were my father. And when I said like you were my father, not when I was 16 respected my father because we didn't appreciate what they did, but at 48 years old, and I know you're younger than me, you're teaching us, older men, how to live right, Amen. how to study the Word. Amen. 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 And that's, that's all God, because I never heard of binding and loosening. But if you look around at the men in here, these guys posting scriptures, not just posting them, but they praying. They bind and loose, and he asked for help, and they prayed for him, you know. We know what the women will stand up and do, but when you can get men, and I say it to the point, because I know women, y'all try to get y'all husband, boyfriend, whoever to do things, and he's like dragging them, you got to pull them and pull them, pull them. But when you got a man teaching other men how to love God, how to worship God, not just to worship, but worship him according to his word, not the way you want to worship him. You know, and that's, that's, that's beautiful. So, man, I just come tell you, man, I appreciate you. I respect you. I love you. And I know sometime, man, you might want to quit, but you can't quit. God ain't going to let you quit. Amen. You know? Amen. It get hard sometimes. I know it does. Um, it get hard for us. And some days I don't want to come to church on Sundays. 
But once I get dressed, I know God got a plan for me, and I have to be here. I have to be in position. And and I got to understand that the ministry is bigger than me. It's bigger than you, and it's bigger than all of us. So when we heed to God's word, we all going to be blessed. We thank you for being in the emergency room, being the surgeon in the emergency room, listening to the head surgeon. Man, we appreciate it. You know, we come here and leave everything we got at the emergency room. So when you leave out the emergency room, you got a good report. But we thank you. We appreciate God putting that through you, man. We do. I don't laugh with you, man. And I'm going to tell you what, I might not cry in front of you. But I know it's been some times you were going through some hard stuff. I cried when I got home. And my wife came. She's like, what's wrong with you? I couldn't share it with her because it ain't her place. So I walked. I jogged. I ran. I went in the garage. Come back in the house. What's wrong with you? You, you can't tell me. First thing they think you're seeing somebody. So uh, I just want to let you know, man. <laughs> man, we got you, man. We, we love you, man. We appreciate you, man. I love you, man. Hey, love you, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Beautiful, right there. Beautiful, bro. Amen. Pastor Rob, I just want to tell you happy anniversary, happy 10 years. Um, if it wasn't for you, like most people have said, I wouldn't know where I would be. You have taught me so much, and you have set an example in my life, and I look up to you. Um, I just thank God for using you to be instrumental in my life and all the things that I've gone through. You've helped me open my eyes and see the things that I did not understand and make so much more sense to me. Um, just, I just thank you, thank God for you. I pray that God continues to bless you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I pray that God continues to lead and guide you. I pray that he even gives you more wisdom and understanding to help, you, to help the people of God. But I thank you so much, and I praise, you for, I praise God for this day for you. Okay, we're coming to an end. And so we want to um, ask the youth if they would come and get ready to do a presentation um, to a pastor. Amen. I ain't forgot, I ain't forgot y'all. Ask the youth, the boys, they would come on and do their presentation. And pastor, the Lord said there shall be showers of blessing. The increase is about to begin in your life. And so they're coming up and they want to um, do their presentations to you. for powerful prophet pastor. A is for amazing. S is for service. T is for teacher. O is for overseeing. R is for real. And that's you, Pastor, and we love you. We have another presentation. Pastor, on behalf of the Word Church, Come on. and we're asking our Pastor A President, on behalf of the Word Church, we want to just present you with showers of blessing. The Lord says, your time to be blessed. And with the umbrella and in the box, the Lord said, you're a gift. You're a gift to the Word Church. You're a gift to me. You're a gift to the people. You're a gift to the world. Your gift on the radio, your gift in Norfolk. And so this is not what we would like to do, but we want to just bless you today. We want to just take time to say we love you, we honor you, uh, we just rise and call you blessed today. And so we just want to do that. I'm not going to talk long because I know I will start crying. But um, I, I definitely felt what Brother Rodney was saying when I'm not 48, but I respect you and I love you as my father. And I look to you and I respect you that way. And I just want to encourage you to keep on, to keep on going on, because your labor is not in vain. I know for a fact you've touched my life. 
but you've touched so many lives that you have not even seen yet through the airwaves and on the internet. And I give out CDs to people. So don't think that just because you may not see them come in here, that that word is not going forth and reaching many and many and many people. So I just encourage you to keep going on. And I just encourage the members, we, we will be here to hold your hands up. And I just want to let you know that we love you and we appreciate all that you've done over the past 10 years. And we know that God has something in store and he's going to continue to strengthen you to go on for even more years. Amen. And Pastor, this is from every auxiliary. This is from the people. This is, I got it. This is from the auxiliaries. And this is just from the Word Church Norfolk, from the Word Church. Amen. Amen. We want to say we love you and we praise God for you. And we have one final one, but we're going to have to move the chair because the, the little girls can have a dance they want to present. Amen. And happy 10th anniversary. Amen.